As we continue with our service today, um, I'm going to invite up uh, Principal Annie Montgomery along with um, one of our newest Lutheran school teachers, Joe Hines, to come on up uh, where we will install him. And then in just a moment, we are going to invite up, come on up, um, the rest of our St. Paul school teachers. Hey, you want to bring, bring the fam? Bring the fam. Come on up. We love kiddos here. So um, when we have back to school here at St. Paul, uh, it comes in three waves of emphasis. We always start uh, with our own St. Paul Lutheran School, uh, one of our chief mission arms of our congregation, where we see people come to faith, where we see people come alive in their faith uh, through the powerful mission that happens here in our school. Uh, Then also, and you'll see this next week, we celebrate educators and those uh, students who are going back to school all over the place. And so uh, we don't just highlight our own school, but we recognize the important role uh, that you serve as missionaries in public and private and charter schools all around. We celebrate that next week. And then also we celebrate the important work that happens at Daggett Elementary, our partner school, Uh, through Academy 4, and some of our other mission efforts. And so, uh, back to school is a big deal here at St. Paul, and one of the ways we make it big is when a new teacher comes into our midst, uh, into our congregation, uh, we make much of this moment, specifically you today, Joe, as you are called here uh, to St. Paul to be a Lutheran school teacher for our middle school students, and we're so excited Uh, that you're here from Michigan. So, uh, in case uh, you're not catching this, uh, Minnesota, Illinois, Michigan, Texas, the Midwesterners are coming for you. (laughs) Slowly but surely, your fears are realistic. We're coming. It's not just California, it's the Midwest too. Uh, And and it's because we love it here and we love this community that we have happening here. And so, uh, let's install you uh, today, Joe, Uh, and we do that in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and all God's people said, amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, Joe uh, has been properly elected and called to serve as a teacher of St. Paul Lutheran School. This office has been established in love by the church to support the office of the Holy Ministry, the pastoral office, and to assist and strengthen Christian fathers and mothers in their God-given responsibility to bring up their children in the nurture and instruction of the Lord. And so Andy uh, is going to bring to us some of the word of God concerning the office of teacher. All right, today's reading comes from Colossians three fifteen to 17. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, in which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Well, Joe, as we install you, um, we've interviewed and we've had conversations and we're so excited about where you're at in your faith and in uh, your practice of Christian doctrine, but it's important publicly uh, to the midst of our congregation that they would hear some of your beliefs and some of your commitments about the ways that you would teach that faith. And so, Joe, I ask in the presence of God and these witnesses, do you believe and confess the canonical books of the Old and New Testament to be the inspired word of God and the only infallible rule of faith and practice? Yes, I believe. Do you believe and confess the three ecumenical creeds, namely the Apostles, the Nicene, and the Athanasian Creed, as faithful testimonies to the truth of the Holy Scriptures? And do you reject all the errors which they condemn? Yes. Joe, do you confess the unaltered Augsburg Confession to be a true exposition of the Holy Scripture and a correct exhibition of the doctrine of the Lutheran Church? Do you confess all of those writings uh, that appear in the book of Concord, these Lutheran writings uh, are also in agreement with this one scriptural faith. Yes, I believe. Do you solemnly and promise faithfully to serve God's people in the teaching ministry in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and with these confessions? 
Yes, I promise. Will you, trusting in God's care, seek to grow in love for those you serve, striving for excellence in your skills and adorning the gospel of Jesus Christ with a godly life? Yes, I will. May God help you to follow through and to do just that. Uh, now, congregation, um, this is not something for us just to receive as audience but, um, as we mentioned, St. Paul being one of our chief mission arms of our congregation, uh, regardless of whether or not you send kids here, regardless of whether or not you have kids of school age, uh, if you are a passionate disciple, follower of Jesus here in our midst, then the effectiveness of our school matters to you, um, and the commitment you would have to that mission matters as well. And so, brothers and sisters in Christ, I would ask you, uh, you have heard this confession of Joe and his promise uh, as he has been called to the office of teacher. And so I ask you now, in the presence of God, will you receive him, show him fitting love and honor, and support him by your gifts and fervent prayer? If so, then answer, we will with the help of God. May God help all of us to do just that. And so, Joe, are you ready and willing to assume the work of this office? Yes, I am willing. All right. Well, then I'm going to ask you as we prepare to install you to come now into the midst of God's people. God's people, I would ask you to stand. Joe, I'm going to ask your uh, lovely wife and other daughter to come on into the middle because you serve not just as individual but this is truly a calling for your entire family and so uh, Heinz family uh, we're so happy you are here and Joe I install you as teacher of St. Paul Lutheran School in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and all God's people said Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and merciful Lord, we thank you for providing faithful men and women in your church to assist and support uh, our mission here at St. Paul and the work that you would do among us. Grant your Holy Spirit to Joe and his family and adorn them with wisdom and power from on high. Incline both young and old to godliness and obedience and let them so benefit by instruction in your holy word that they may serve you all their days and finally obtain eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. St. Paul family, can we welcome the Heinz family to our midst? So excited you're here. All right. Uh, you guys can go ahead and take a seat. And now uh, we are going to invite um, all of our teachers forward. And as we do, uh, Andy, um, I'm going to let you uh, take it from here and introduce your faculty and staff to your congregation and talk a little bit about this year and the hopes and dreams that we would have. Yes, thank you. As my first year here at St. Paul, this moment, standing before y'all in front of our congregation, has been heavy on my heart with such anticipation and such joy. Back in April, when I accepted the call, this is what I was looking forward to. The moment when our school would be filled with the pitter-patter of feet. The moment where children would be heard talking to their teachers, saying good morning, having those wonderful experiences and learning. And I wasn't the only one preparing. Our teachers have been working so hard over the summer, and so they're working to prepare their classrooms for each of the kids that are coming in. And not only that, but our custodial and our maintenance staff have been working behind the scenes, updating the building and getting it ready for another school year. What a wonderful opportunity we have for over 200 students to hear about 
Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior every day as they grow in wisdom and in stature, as they continue to get to experience a relationship with adults that care for them, a school that is integrated into not just eighth graders being in their class, but to do things with our preschool program and our pre-K program and how we're intertwined together as brothers and sisters in Christ. And so our teaching staff stands before you today, excited as well for our 24-25 school year. What a blessing it is to be able to have a ministry here at St. Paul. And for our blessing for today, if you guys would join me in prayer as we pray over our staff at the beginning of the year. So, most merciful God, we thank you and praise you for this opportunity we have to have a school attached to our campus where children get to hear your love every single day. We pray that you would give our staff wisdom and power and endurance for all the things that will be set before us in the school year. May we partnership with family, may we have partnership with families as they send their children to our school. And most of all, Lord, as we seek to ignite passion, as we get to share in our new life together as Christians, we pray that your spirit would hover over our school, that all that would experience St. Paul would feel your loving arms wrapped around them. We thank and praise you for this wonderful gift of ministry, and I pray that you would be with each of us today and every single day. In your holy and precious name, amen. Can we give thanks to God for our school staff? You may be seated.